What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to give you some tips to help your Alienware X51 PC run cooler and quieter. The tips are going to descend in order of difficulty. So the most difficult tip I'm going to present first. So what you do is unscrew the screw that's right here. I already did it. This allows us to remove the top panel. Once we have the interior exposed, remove the power cable from the CD drive. The screw holding the CD drive in place is right here. We're going to take this out. And we're just going to use our Alienware without a CD drive. So as you can see from my interior tour, the Alienware is pretty poorly ventilated and you have a lot of fans going. You have your CPU fan, you have your GPU fan, and then you even have your um, PCIe fan. It's blocked by the Alien head here, but that helps circulate the air coming out of the uh, GPU fan. And then you have this little fan right here. So you have a lot of stuff going on and not so big of a space and giving us a lot of extra breathing room by removing the CD drive, that's to our advantage, help circulate the air. And you see I also have this spare power cable that can connect to a graphics card. Um, I'm only using the GTX 660. If you're using the GTX 670 or something, you probably would use both of these power cables, but for me, like, there's really no room to shove this around here without making contact with the car or potentially blocking the PCIe fan or the GPU fan. So just having it hang out in the open space we have by clearing out the, the CD drive, that helps out a lot. And it's not so awkward for this cable to be there. And I don't know, I think CD drives are a relic of a past age. Maybe they were big in the 2000s, the aughts, but we're in the 2010s, we don't need CD drives. If I need drivers for software and stuff, I just download them. And the last game I have that I got from a CD, I think was Age of Empires 2. Seriously. Um, if you did upgrade to a Blu-ray drive from Alienware, I don't know how many people actually did because the upgrade to the Blu-ray drive is $100. Then this might not be the mod you want to make if you intend on using your Blu-ray drive. But for me, I watch Blu-rays on my TV downstairs. And I have Netflix, so... I'll just stream that through Alienware. So for future designs of the X51, I mean the X51's only been on the market for one year, but for the next modification going forward that Alienware can make, they might want to think about you know, not including a CD drive. That would definitely help out with the space. With this extra space, we can also install a onboard AI. And my AI choice is going to be Cortana. Sorry. I apologize if that was dorky, I had to do it. But, so yeah, first mod you can make without buying anything is remove the CD drive. I'll go on to my next mod now. The next thing you can do is install SpeedFan. It's a free program. I'll link in the description of this video where you can get it. But it allows you to maintain full control over your fans. So you don't have fans in your computer spinning more than they need to be. And this definitely helps with reducing the noise made by spinning fans. Now when you're gaming, your GPU and your CPU fans are going to be spinning pretty quickly, but it's not so much a factor because you probably have headphones on or you're listening to game audio. But when idling your computer, like I use my computer for a lot of different things like web browsing, video editing and writing a cooler and quieter PC definitely doesn't hurt. So what you do is you have to turn on automatic fan speed. My mouse cursor is going to show you how to do it. And it'll, um, and you see the temperature readings? After I've done all of these tips, I saw reductions in temperature by a few degrees across the board. It's not significant for each mod that I make, but when added together, you can definitely see a pretty big improvement across the board. All right, the final thing you can do, just please hold your laughter and skepticism until I explain, is to rotate your alien head and have your PC lay sideways instead of like the conventional standing PC. You're gonna lay it down like a PS3 or an Xbox 360 console. And the reason why laying your Alienware on its side instead of having it stand up would be helpful is, if you notice, there aren't any 
ventilation areas or air holes on the sides, but around the back we do have a lot of holes so we can allow the air to escape out from the side a lot better if it's laying on its side versus standing up. So I hope these tips have been helpful. Um, it definitely makes the Alienware run a lot quieter. It makes it run as quiet as a laptop, not quite as quiet as a MacBook. But the difference that each of these subtle modifications makes is noticeable. And especially the last one, it's going to be subtle, but you'll definitely feel a difference. Trust me on this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a great day, guys.